G'day guys, welcome back. Look what I've got. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Now, for those of you who don't already know, I decided I was going to design my own silicon mold for resin. So I did it and this is just my, this is my sample that they've sent me. Um, the rest of them, I only ordered 100 because, oh my gosh, it's so expensive and shipping costs the same amount because they're like a kilo each. They're really heavy, big, thick molds. So um, I ordered 100. I've pre-sold over 50 already, so over half. Um, but this is my sample that I'm going to try today. The others are on the ship at the moment, so it's going to take them about three weeks to get here. And then if you've ordered one, I'm going to have to post it out to you. So... And who knows with the COVID thing. So look, it may be like four to six weeks before you even get one if you do order or if you've ordered already. So that's what I'm going to do. It's one, two, three, four, five, six coasters with the geode edges. And then this middle bit is the tray with the geode edges. And I'm going to use these two little black handles today. So very exciting. Uh, if you saw the video of me making these gorgeous babies... I'm going to do something similar, try to anyway, with the clear top around here. But I'm going to put gold flakes in it. And then instead of the blue and the white, I'm just going to go with teal. So teal and gold. So that's the plan today. So we'll see how that goes. I'm using my Barnes Clarity uh, resin. It's a two part of the other one and a one part to the hardener so I've mixed up I, I know how much I need because I've put it in a cup before and measured the volume to 100 mils so 100 mils of this one weighs 100 grams the other one it's a big heavy one I'm not going to pick it up um, the other one to, to um, 100 mils weighs um, Actually, no, what was it? 200 mils weighs 220 grams. So I've got two batches. I've got 200 grams of one and 440 grams of the other. And hopefully that's enough. I don't mind doing a clear coat later on if I need to. It's just been sitting there. Um, I find that it's actually a good idea to let it sit for five or ten minutes. The bubbles will come to the surface and pop all by themselves. So yay. And the other thing I've done already is I've got some masking tape and I've just gone over the whole thing like this picking up little bits of fluff and dust and hair and you know things that are just in the atmosphere that tend to fall into our our resin so I just do that with a little bit of masking tape right let's get started I'm going to use two Lores expressions colors today this one is the paste and it's called I think I don't know how you pronounce it appetite Appetite, A-P-A-T-I-T-E, Appetite Blue. It's probably pronounced something different, I don't know. Um, and then this one is Turquoise Blue, so I'm going to use those two. Now this, the paste, hopefully I can remember because I wrote down everything I wanted to do. The paste I want to do like the darker one in the middle. So along here, 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 on the edge of the tray, the dark, and then inside there and there. And I'm going to put the gold all the way around the outside and then I'm going to put a little bit of gold in the center. Don't let me forget. All right, this is what I'm planning on doing. So hopefully I can remember to do it. All righty. Um, I'm just going to get started. I'm going to pour half a cup of resin into that one. I can just sit up there for a minute. And then... I don't, because I don't need very much for the outside, my little edges there. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a scoop like that and pop you in there. I can always make up more. I actually had no idea of how much resin that this guy holds. It's, um, it's about six mil deep. Yep, six mil deep, the sides. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to show you. It's, it's huge. Get out of the way there. Um, 16 inches, 40 centimeters across. And the same with this one, I think. Yep, 40 centimeters, 16 inches. My little coasters are about, 
11 centimeters, so four and a half inches. Oops, for a coaster, that's about the size of the coasters. So it's a big one. But uh, why not, hey? Eh? Why not have everything in one and you do it all at once? Everything's the same color. Because sometimes, you know, if you want matching tray to coasters, you do, you do one. Um, and then, you know, your next one for your tray might be different colors. So even though you try to get them all the same, you might have different shades. Now, I want this one to be quite opaque. So let's put some more in. I'll use a different stick. Another scoop. There we go. So take the old stick out. Put you over there. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Maybe I should mix off camera. <laughs> it takes a while, doesn't it? Now these moulds... I, I have an eBay store because I used to sell jewellery and um, agate geode necklaces and real agate geode, you know, coasters and things like that. So I've still got my eBay store. Um, it's called Charmed Moments. And I will put the link for this big mould. In the description now they are quite expensive um, as I said you know it's expensive to make it was expensive to ship but it is a really good quality it's 11 mils thick it's a really good quality mold and um, I know you can buy molds you know cheaper um, just, getting a, just getting a spoon Where is it? <clears throat> yeah, now I know you can buy moulds cheaper. You know, there's, there's these sorts of things which um, are silicon as well. They're very thin though. But yeah, it depends on your budget, depends what you're doing. You know, if you're just doing it for fun, then, you know, go the cheaper ones. But if you're doing it for um, maybe a business, um, then I guess you'd go with the, um, the more expensive, better quality ones. So totally up to you which way you want to go. So this has been sitting, the bubbles are almost gone. So a scoop of the pigment and I'll start with half a cup and I probably need to make another, well actually no it's probably about three quarters of a cup of resin, I probably need to make another cup full of, of this but I don't need very much of the dark, I don't want the dark taking over but because I wanted to use the black handles I felt that I needed to have a dark contrast somewhere so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep mixing I'm going to put my gold flakes into a cup and I'm going to mix them with resin and then I'll get back to you otherwise it just takes way too long okay I'm all stirred up and ready to go Oh, I just hope I haven't made up too much. I made up two cups of the, um, what's it called? Turquoise blue. So hopefully, I've, hopefully I hopefully didn't make up too much. Um, my gold leaf is this one here. I got it from Eckersley's if you're in Australia. I also got a silver one. Now let's move everything out of the way. And let's get this show on the road. So the first thing I want to do with my pigment paste is go around my edges so just around the edges actually I'll start up here and try just to get a little bit especially in these because I think that the um, the pigment paste might sort of take over and I don't really want it to be very dark I want it to be quite light and I really really want to have that um, clear edge so if I put too much paint in it'll well not paint but you know color um, it might take over my um, clear edges I don't really want that to happen okay that's that one. Oh my gosh I'm so nervous just a lot of resin and 
pigment and everything wasted if you don't get it right, you know. And I want it to be right. It's my first one of my new mold, so I want to do it justice. Oh, I've got a lot of this left over. Probably didn't need quite that much. Look, I've still got half a cup left. Uh, you can just sit over there. This is what I'm saying, you know, you don't know what you're going to need until you've kept it in. Sorry, it's my daughter in the laundry. I'm getting her washing out of the machine. Sets the dogs off. Settle down, guys. I'm on puppy watch at the moment. Bronte's due to birth. Oh, tomorrow, the next day. So <clears throat> she's going to be needing a cesarean. So I've taken the rest of the week off work and I'm just staying home on puppy watch. Okay, here we go with the gold. It's going to drizzle that in. Just a little bit. Whoa, you are a big blob that just went in, aren't you? It's a bit difficult to kind of drizzle. Now this may be a bit of a long video, so if you feel like fast forwarding, if you don't want to watch me drizzle, <laughs> um, feel free to fast forward. Because um, yeah, I'm just going to do it at my own pace, try and enjoy the process as much as I can, even though I'm a bit stressed doing it and everybody's watching me. Oh my gosh. Do you guys feel like that when you're making videos? Everyone's watching you. You've got to do well. So here we go. should have enough just to go around my edges here. I do need some for the middle as well. So I'm going to kind of do, do that-ish. All right, now I need a little bit more here. I'm just going to top up my little areas that don't have very much. It's nice how they join, like they match on the edges there. So I was very specific when I designed this that I wanted the edges, you know, to look as if they, they kind of all matched up together. So when it's sitting on the table, you can have it like this as a lovely display. Um, or you can, you know, when they separate, they still look pretty. And then when you, <clears throat> you put them back together like this, I think that's how I would have it just sort of lying like this on the table. It looks really pretty. Okay. So that's all the gold gone. That was, that was well planned actually, just enough gold. Wipe up as I go. So I don't have much to clean up later on. Okay. Now, I want to do a little bit of clear. Here's my clear in here. A little bit of clear next to the gold. Like so. And hopefully my edges will stay clear. It's kind of already blending in there, so I'm not sure... <laughs> how it's going to work but I mean the colors will all blend anyway you know it's resin it's liquid it's going to blend and I still have more clear <clears throat> in my little jug here and it's pretty clear now actually all the bubbles have gone you just let them sit hey and they'll go okay do that rightio now the next thing I need to do is actually you haven't got much in there oh, actually no I don't want to put any more in do I I think the colors will kind of I think they'll blend out anyway um, I'm actually just going to put a pop stick underneath this corner for some reason this corner is always a little on the low side okay now uh, Let's do this one next. This is our lovely turquoise. I'll just put you in there. 
not quite sure what I'm supposed to do with the corner ones. These ones are pretty easy. You just do a, a line. But when it comes to the those corner ones, it's a little bit more tricky. I guess maybe I just have to... Oh, it'll just do what it wants to do, won't it? It sure will. All right, here we go. Um, go around... And around like so. Oh, this is exciting. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of extra in where it's missing any of this dark. And I can always add the dark a little bit later. If I think that it's going to be too pale, you know, I can always add a little bit more of the dark. Whoops, spilt a bit. All right, um, now this one's got enough color. I'll put a little bit more here. I'm just gonna add a bit slowly, you know, as I, as I think it needs more. Because those corner ones, which are a little bit of a triangle, they probably don't need as much color. Oh, we're still taping. <laughs> I'm stressing out because I did one the other day and it, I wasn't taping. All right, I'm going to put some more clear in. Um, these ones, I probably won't do any more colour in these guys. I'm just going to put some more clear in there. There's a bit of a clump there. I'll try and break up this gold a little bit and kind of poke it down. I don't want it sticking out, do I? So we'll just kind of break it up a little bit, poke it down. Like so. Oops, get back in there. Clean up as I go. These baby wipes are great for cleaning up as you go. If you spill any resin on your mold, you can just Give the mold a bit of a, a wipe with your baby wipe and get it all cleaned up again. Just makes it easier than trying to pick off dry resin tomorrow when it's dry. Now I'm going to go and put a little bit more clear on all my, my gold. And I like pouring the clear into a little cup. Just makes it easier for me to pour because it's really hard to pour out of a big jug. So I do that. A little bit on the gold. That's just kind of pushing it all down, hopefully, so that nothing's going to stick up through the surface. I think I did that one already, didn't I? Okay, so that one's got enough. I'll pour some clear into there. And it will kind of push the other colours back. How's it looking so far, you guys? Is it okay? I'm a bit drippy, aren't I? Look, I'm making a mess. A bit drippy. Okay, so now this one here, he's going to... That's empty. Um, this one here is going to need more of this colour. I wasn't sure whether I needed to put dark along the edges. No, because here we've got clear against the turquoise, clear against the turquoise, clear against the turquoise. It's only these middle edges that I've got the, the darker colour in. I hope I've made up enough resin, you guys. Might have to, we'll see how we go. I could always do a clear coat later. Now I'm just going to fill up my my moulds with a little bit more clear. Make sure they've all got a decent amount in them. I think I'm going to need more colour in there. That's a lot of that's a lot of um, turquoise, isn't it? Let's put a little more dark. Mm. 
might as well use it. I've made it up, so I might as well use it, hey? Just wasn't sure how much I was going to need. Put a little bit more dark. Hopefully it won't take over. I did want a decent amount of dark though, as I said, to just play off the black handles that I've got. Um, and also a nice contrast between the lighter turquoise. I'm just putting that in the corners there. Okay, now I've got a little bit more turquoise, so let's pop a little bit more of that on. Some more there, some more there. And I haven't got much left, so we'll put a little bit more there. As I said, it's really hard to know how much you're going to use. I don't want too much more in there. I don't want the it don't want it to go too far over onto my my gold. Alrighty, haven't got I'm just gonna scrape out now. This is all I've got left. Fill in those little gaps. Okay, I think that will that will do. Um, I've got a tiny bit of dark left. All right, and a little bit of clear. Now I'm just going to basically top them up with clear, and then um, let them sit and do their thing. This is going that way a little bit. Don't, don't take up all my gold, please. Please don't. Whoops, I got a bit of gold in there. Uh, a bit of blue in my gold. Let's see if I can get that out. Oh, it must have dripped in there. Come out, come out. Get you out. I don't want blue on my edge, do I? It's really hard to know how much the blue is going to, or the turquoise is going to take over. Like over here, it's taking over quite a lot. <clears throat> Hopefully it won't take over too much. All right, here we go. Um, I'm just going to put some more clear in around there. As I said, I do want my clear center. I would, hopefully, hopefully this won't take over too much. You know, it'll come in a little bit, but hopefully not too much. All right, now I'm nearly out of my clear. Where else? And let's have a look and see which ones need more. Just kind of top the molds up a little bit. And push that back a touch. If it'll go. Go! <laughs> oh, it looks so pretty against that um, teal, though, doesn't it? That turquoise. So pretty. Right, just filling these up now. And I might actually just break this gold up a little bit, get it to kind of flow in a little bit more so it's not so in a straight line kind of get it to just kind of flow out a little bit although it wants to just flow back to the edges this one's pretty full i don't think i need any more in this one this middle one needs more just try and break those up a little bit. How's that? I think that's looking better, isn't it? A little bit of a fly away. Um, come here, come here, come over here and share over here. More in this one, I think. Anyway, I'll have a bit of a, keep having a bit of a play with it. Um, this one, as I said, needs needs a little bit more 
resin just to bring it up to the same height but I've only got a little little bit in le left in there so I think this is going to be the last of it um, if it's not quite enough I guess I could make some more and do like a, a flood coat tomorrow we'll see what it looks like early days yet but the, yeah that's that's it I'm pretty much out of of resin now I'll pour a little bit into the center of that just to break it up just a little bit just so it's not quite so in a straight line okay and that's that's it you guys I'm out of resin Now I've learned that not to scrape the inside of these paper cups. They've got wax on, on the inside and it's um, yeah, it's best not to, to scrape them. You end up getting this kind of residual on top. Oh, I haven't torched. Let me wipe my hands. So what do you reckon? It will change. Um, I guess I could have put a little bit more of the turquoise in. I wonder what would happen if I kind of streaked it out. Mm, no. Oh, do I? No, I don't know what I want to do. I seriously don't know what I want to do. I'm going to put a little bit more dark just here. I've got it, so I might as well use it up. use up all of what I've got left because this is quite a big big tray it could take a little bit more color I think I'm so tempted to like get a stick and swirl it around actually what about no oh, what about if I use my my like my little heat blower thing um, where's this one? See these? Again, these ones here. The white didn't... Is that the front? Yeah. Like it stayed... It didn't move too much more, you know? So... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've got this um, embossing tool. I'm just going to see what happens if I kind of just blow that colour a little bit. probably just going to blow over the top. It's not moving a lot. I better get my tool in the resin. There's a hair there. This one's, this one's doing okay. I'm going to try and blow this out a little bit. I think their resin's starting to set up a little bit. movement now the the top of the resin well the the turquoise I should say just kind of floats over the top a little bit I'm not exactly sure what it's going to do um, but oh I need to torch and just clean these edges up and then I'm gonna torch sorry for the long video oops stuck my little baby wipe in the resin You're quite full. Don't you overflow now, will you? All right, there's my torch. Just using my little creme brulee torch to pop some bubbles. And then I can check for hairs and fluff and things like that. So I did see a little hair in, in that one. Get 
it out. All right, torching popping bubbles. There's not many bubbles um, because I did wait for a while before I started using the resin. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare trying to pick fluff and stuff out. So just moving it really quickly, my little torch. I don't want to burn anything. So I'd be really keen to see how this changes over time. Alright, what do we think? Well I'm certainly, I think I should have my clear edges and my clear centre so yay! Because so many times I've really tried to have a clear centre and then all colours just run on so you know I'm really pulling back on the amount of colour I'm using to, to get those clear centres. I might have to actually make up a little bit more resin and just top some of these up, but um, I'll leave it there with you guys, and um, I will be back for the unmolding. Oh, my handles! Oh, my handles! My handles! Hang on! You guys are yelling at me, aren't you? The handles! Oh, mm, nearly forgot my handles. Okay, so I like to just put them in now. Oh, where am I going to put them so that they're equal? Hopefully they're. Oh, that's the other thing. There's not much room underneath, so you've got to be careful not to stick. Don't hold them like that because your fingers are going to get in the resin. Do that. Pull the gloves right up. Actually, maybe... Hang on. I'll take the gloves off and do it. Otherwise, I'm going to get... I'm sure I'll get um, my fingers in there. Okay, so... Um, Hopefully that's centered. How far away are you? About there. You can move them, you know, a little bit once they're in. I, I will get the tape measure and just measure uh, across there. Make sure that they're not, you know, make sure they're like that and they're not like, like that or anything. So I'll do that. But I think that looks pretty good. I think it's flowing a little bit. It's moving. All right. Thanks for reminding me guys, appreciate it. See how the black just picks up that little dark section of the, the resin there? So yeah, happy with that. I guess I could have put a little bit more colour down here. Because uh, I don't think it's going to spread very much. Mm. Alright, um, I'll come back to you tomorrow for the unmoulding. See you then. Good morning, I'm back. Hey, look, it's all dried. Now I did get a little bit of um, overflow there across the middle, which I didn't really want. But then when I looked back at my video and I thought, oh, what did I do wrong? You know how I put the extra paint in? I keep calling it paint, I'm so used to <laughs> acrylic pouring. I put that extra colored resin in on the sides and I shouldn't have because it was the extra color that's pushed in over the top so next time and I'll be doing lots of these because I, I just love it it's so gorgeous um, I won't put quite as much in because you know down here I had the same amount like if you go okay that's the amount of color you need see that's even a, sh a smaller area I like I only needed a little bit of color because I wanted my center to be clear so next time a little bit of color right but anyway let's get on with it it's a big heavy thing. Look at this. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to start over here. I'll bend that. And that should hopefully help us get it out a little bit. Whoops! Oh, it's so exciting! First unmolding of my new mold. Oh, look at that! Alrighty, so there's our first piece. Let's have a look at the back. Look at the gold. Really pretty. Let's have a look at the back. Oh, that's really pretty too. But I would only I would use the front. 
Now I'm just going to put that over there and we'll just get a, get a wriggle on and get all these out. Oh, they come out so easily, look! Just pops out. Wow. Got a little bit of overflow that I'll need to, to trim where I've kind of filled them up a little bit too much. I don't know if you can see. Now through my screen, my camera screen, it looks quite blue to me. I can either have nice bright colours or I can have the autofocus. I'll just put the autofocus on. It looks quite blue to me, but it's it's actually really quite <clears throat> turquoise teal. So when I put my photo up anyway of the completed product, hopefully you'll be able to see the, the true colour. I don't know what it is about um, sort of greeny blues. Greens, greens and turquoises, they just look blue. Beautiful edges. Tiny little bit of sanding maybe along the edges there. But you won't need to get out like an electric sand. You can just um, sand those with an emery board like a nail file. And that'll be fine because it's only a tiny little bit of overflow there. Let's get this side done. I'll bend that as well and that'll just help us a little bit. Pops out so easily. So as you can see they're all very, very similar. Whoops, there we go. Very similar. Love that clear top there with the gold. It just looks so pretty, doesn't it? And I've already got ideas on what I want to do for my next one. This is so much fun. Um, I don't think I filmed it, but I made up a little bit more resin because I didn't actually make up quite enough. Um, and just topped the coaster molds up. So it actually took 800 grams of resin. And I like the thickness of it, like it's not too, it's not too chunky, you know, it's just a good, good size. I think the one that I made, my handmade mold, it's a little bit on the thick side, it felt a little bit chunky. I'm gonna make another one. It gives me a good excuse to play again and make another one. What do you think? Do you love it? Right now, the exciting part as well, the tray. Let's see if we can get this baby out. Same thing, I'll just loosen it there. It's already wanting to pop out. Pull that down. Ta-da! Look! Oh my gosh! We have a tray! Wow! I have a tray. Now the other thing as well for me to do next time, um, when I did these guys, I left about well, quite a lot of distance for my gold, didn't I? I had like half colour, half gold. And then over here, I didn't leave very much room at all for my gold. I put my gold down and then I put my colour down pretty much straight next to it. So next time, I'm going to leave more area for gold. Unless I don't worry about putting gold in the middle, maybe I'll just have extra wide areas for gold like on the side to match that um, and then not worry about the gold or maybe put some gold like um, in a flood coat, like a top coat. But what do you think? Love it. And um, I think it's the pigment paste that sort of goes over the top like this oh maybe not but anyway i want to try again with it looks so blue let's have a look at the back oh look at the gold on the back see now, now that's what i wanted for the front okay so if my top looks like like that with the teal coming over the top and then i put a flood coat with gold it'll look like that because you can see underneath how we're getting those you can still see those um, turquoise pretty textures there. Yeah, all right, I can do that. That'll work. That's really pretty. So I guess if you didn't put your handles in when you were doing it, you could, you know, screw your handles in, but maybe you could just be a plaque. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. I actually prefer the back now. Next time, next time. All right, there'll be more. Okay, um, 
I'm just going to pop these all back up here for a minute. And um, it's going to take me a while to paint all these edges gold, but I'm going to do it. And I will see you shortly for the finished result. So, as you can see, I'm setting up to do a flood coat because I really liked how the gold was sort of floating on the top, which underneath. So I've made up a little bit of resin. I did 25 grams of part B and 55 grams of part A. That's my two to one. And I'm going to see how it goes because I've never done a flood coat with gold leaf and I want to try it. So let's do it. Now, see how that's a big clump of gold leaves? You need to separate them. Don't just throw them in like that in a big clump. Because they won't, they won't mix nicely and then you'll end up with big clumps. So separate your leaves. And I, I think that's probably enough, isn't it? We'll see. We'll see how it mixes in. I don't, I don't need much. It's a little bit for the middle there. And mix that up. Oh, that's not enough resin. <laughs> actually need quite a bit to mix with the gold leaf. And I always make up too much with the gold leaf. So we might leave some bigger pieces in there, but you yeah, see how they all need to be kind of separated. If you put them in when they're all stuck together, it's really hard to then separate them. Okay, now the other thing I wasn't sure about was, do I pour the gold in first and then the clear around, or do I the clear and then the gold? But <laughs> I'm gonna do the gold first, all right? Here we go, wish me luck. Oh my gosh, hope I don't ruin it. I'm just gonna put that gold in the center there. And try not to scrape the inside of my cup because it is wax. Now I'm going to pour a little bit more clear over the top of these, this gold, just to kind of spread it out a little bit. But I'm going to use my little paper cup just so that I've got more control over it. So I'm just going to pour a little bit on, just kind of zigzagging, just to get it to kind of open up a little bit. Now I don't want to, you know, tip this and, and move it, so I'm going to have to be really careful about how I'm doing this, how I'm putting the resin on. All right, I think what I'll do is I'll put some out here. I hope I've got enough. Oh, what if I don't have enough, you guys? I'm going to actually, I'm going to put it all on, shall I put it all on? I'll put it all into the cup. I'm going to spread it a little bit with my stick because I don't want it, you know, if I've made up too much and then it overflows. So, um, let's do that. Now, I'm going to just gently spread this. I'm not going to use any more for now. I want to see if I can get to the edges. And because the edges are raised slightly, there's a little lip there. I'm just basically pulling that resin out towards the lip and my stick is just touching the lip there and the resin is just going to sit on it hopefully cross fingers that's the plan now this is going to take me a little while so feel free to fast forward if you don't want to watch all this but because i can't stop now i'm just going to keep going and it's a little bit fiddly and i want a good result so I'm not going to rush now. I'm going to get under here. <laughs> it's a bit tricky getting under the handle. Hopefully I've got enough resin on here because I'm just, yeah. I mean, I've got that extra little bit if I need it, but let's just see how I go. I'll just put a little bit more just on these edges here. And I can't see 
where I've done and where I haven't done because it's clear. So the only way I'm going to be able to tell is when I look across, I get down low and look across with the light over there in front of it and then I'll be able to see. I might have to turn it around. Oh, no, maybe I can get there. I can see that there's a little bit not done just there. Now I should be able to get through there. So I'm going to try not to touch the metal at the moment. I may just have a fiddle with the, the gold leaf later on and see if I want to move any, but I just want to get these off to the edges. Actually, it looks as if I'll have plenty, so they're still... Uh, probably a quarter of a cup left. So if you don't want to lip on your coasters or your tray, you can just do this little flood coat and then just, you know, pull the, the resin out to the very edge and it should just sit nicely. That lip is just enough to make it just sit there and, and stay. Stay put. A little tiny bit more just here. And come around this side of the table. Actually, I haven't done I haven't done this part here, have I? Make sure I get all of that. I'll start from the inside and push it out like that. A little bit more just to get underneath that handle there. Probably could use a palette knife, but then the problem I have is my painting palette knife is covered in resin. And that's not good. It's too hard to clean off. Something that's disposable like these sticks is much better. All right, am I done? Am I done? I need to torch it and then have a little look. So resin self-leveling. So it's going to move around a little bit and, and, and level. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it, I love it. Okay. Um, now, do I want any more gold. I don't think so. Let's just put a little bit more on just in the middle there. I don't want any of these flakes to be sticking out. Just going to kind of open them up just a little bit. You can actually see through to the bottom gold leaf as well which is really nice. Just separating them. I don't want any bit stuck to each other. A few just kind of flying away over here towards the edge. Oh, I think that looks amazing you guys. I'm, I'm glad I did this. Yep, it worked lovely. I guess the only problem may be that because it's not a very deep Flood coat. I may have a few little pieces of gold um, kind of look as if they're a bit raised even though hopefully they won't be. Let's just pour a tiny bit more over the top just to get any of those that are maybe trying to poke out to go back in. I think I've got enough room on there that it, I'm not going to have gold sticking up or, or um, I mean, you know, resin overflowing. Oops, there's a bit that I've, no, no, it hasn't missed. All right, I'm going to give that a bit of a torch. I'm going to get down low and look over the top of it. Um, sorry if it's a bit of a long video, but you know how it goes. I'm doing this for me. I'm trying to enjoy the process and, um, you know, I'm happy to Bring you guys along for the process as opposed to me making a video specifically for you um, yeah 
yeah, making it for me. So I want to take my time, enjoy it. I um, wonder if I can push the boundaries and have a little bit more. Better not to have too much though, hey. How's that look? I might have a little play with it and just sort of separate these a little bit more, but I think, I think, I think I'm pretty done. Love it. Love it. Right, where's my torch? Oh, so much better, you guys. I'm going to do this in future on all of mine that I, you know, if my gold sinks or my silver sinks, I'm going to do this. Okay, now I'm going to have a little look across the top, make sure I've got every little area. I think so. It doesn't look as if I've got any blank spots. I do wish I had a little bit more clear on these edges here. Um, the, the, there's no point, you know, putting more gold on here um, because I only wanted that clear edge with gold. So I'll leave it as it is and um, we'll say lesson learned. I'm just going to get my gloves off. I might take it down for a little quick close up. And um, yeah, happy with that. Again, it looks quite blue, but it's not. It's it's turquoise. Get a little bit more light for you. I wish it wouldn't come up looking blue. What do you think? Really like how that gold's sitting on top now. And you can still see through to underneath, to the little bits of gold that are underneath. So yeah, really happy. Oh my gosh, another 12 minutes. <laughs> this video is going to be long. I shouldn't bother with it, I know. I shouldn't, but you know, there's still people that say, your videos are too long, you talk too much. So anyway, there it is. Um, and I'll wait for it to dry, I'll paint the edges gold, and then I'll show you the finished product. When it's done, see you soon.